Hello, kindergartners! It's Miss Kelly here again today for your Bridges Math Activity. Today we are working on bicycle story problems. We are working on Unit 3, Module 3, Session 2. Today is Wednesday, November. What number is this? This is one of our tricky teens. Wednesday, November. I see a 1, so that means it's one of our teens. And an 8. 18. Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. All right, let's, I'm going to move up here. Let's review our objectives for today. So our objectives for today, oh, maybe I'll move up here. Our objectives for today are, I can represent addition, subtraction with objects, fingers, verbal explanations, expressions or equations. So we're going to do all of that today. We're going to use objects to help us add. We're going to use our fingers to help us add. We're going to talk and use our voice to help us add. And we are also going to use our equations that we learned about yesterday. All right, I can solve addition and subtraction story problems. So we're going to um, use a sentence or a story um, and solve the addition problem by, by figuring out what that story is asking us to do. I can make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. Hmm, persevere. That's a really big kindergarten word. Do you guys know what it means to persevere? Hmm, persevere. It's this word right here. Persevere. To persevere means that even if something get, gets hard, we don't give up. We keep going and we keep trying. So sometimes in school, some things might be hard for us to do, but that's okay. If we keep persevering um, and we can always ask for help, then we can, we can keep going and we can solve those problems. So it's important to not give up even if something gets a little bit hard or frustrating. All right, here we go. Whoops. Today our plan, um, we are going to practice counting to 20. We are going to use what we have learned about addition and subtraction and doubling to solve some bicycle problems. So um, with Mrs. Schaefer a few weeks ago, you guys learned about doubling. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about what it means to double something if you forget, okay? All right, so first we're gonna start by counting all the way up to 20 and back down. Okay, so we're going to start at one. You ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There's our tricky teens. They start with a one. We're going to count back down. You ready? We're going to start at 20. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great job, my friends. All right. So, um... The last time that we sent out school supplies, we gave you guys one of these hundreds charts. A hundreds, hundreds chart goes all the way to 100. So this is our number 100. That means it has all of the numbers to 100. On the back of your hundreds chart, you guys have a 10 frame. Um, actually, there should be two. Miss um, Kelly just printed out or showed you one of them because we're just going to need to use one of them today. Um, but eventually you might need to use both of them. So I want you to go find your hundreds chart and we're going to use the 10 frame on the back of it. So if you flip the piece of paper over, um, then your hundreds chart will be on the back of it. If you don't know where your hundreds chart is, that's okay. So this is not it. But if this was our hundreds chart, your 10 frame would be on the back side of it. Okay. So go look for your hundreds chart. And I want you to bring it back. What we also will need, um, we gave you guys some bread counters. Or if you don't have your counters, 
then um, you can use some pennies or quarters or uh, maybe some beans if you're if you have any beans in your kitchen um, or any other little small thing that you think that you could count with we're gonna need probably ten of them okay so go look for your hundreds chart with the ten frame on it your counters that we gave you or if you can't find your counters then get something else like pennies or beans or um, if you've got the little counting bears um, or buttons anything small that you can count with and you can move okay so um, go ahead and pause this video this is the pause button it should be on the bottom of your iPad down here press your pause button and um, when you're ready to start then you can go ahead and press play okay all right all right I hope you found your 10 frame we are going to do a story problem so right here um, this is our story about an addition so we're gonna listen very closely to see what it's asking us to do okay so listen closely here's our story problem two students brought their bicycles to school so we are going to put two bicycles on our 10 frame let's see one two those are our objects that we're gonna use um, to pretend like those are bicycles okay so if you have your counter I want you to put one two on your 10 frame if you don't have a 10 frame that's okay what you can do is keep one pile of your counters and then I want you to move them to the other side okay so move two or put them on your 10 frame so two students brought their bicycles to school we put two bicycles on our 10 frame one more student brought her bicycle to school so we're gonna put one more bike on our 10 frame so we had two bicycles plus one more how many bicycles are do we have all together how many are there in all two plus one is three or we can count one two three good all right we are going to write an equation just like we did yesterday so we're going to write an equation um, that says that represents our um, our story problem so remember yesterday we talked about an equation and it is a number sentence that says two sides are equal so here's our equation we had two bicycles plus one more equals three because we have three all together one whoops one two three All right, let's try this one. How many wheels are there on a bicycle? How many wheels do you see? One wheel, two wheels. One, two. So we're gonna put that on our 10 frame. So put two wheels on your 10 frame. Good. What if we double it? That word double means to add the same number again. So we added two bicycle or two wheels, so we need to double it, which means add two more because our number was two. So we're going to add that number again. So add two more. One, two. Add two more to your 10 frame. Here's two wheels and two more wheels. Let's write an equation. We had two wheels, then we doubled it, so we added two more. Two plus two equals four. Good, one, two, three, four. All right, let's try it with a tricycle. A tricycle has how many wheels? One, two, Three. That word try means three. Tricycle means three wheels. Can you show me on your 10 frame how many wheels a tricycle has? Miss Kelly is going to give you a chance to do it by yourself before I do it with you. Okay? So put how many wheels do we have on a tricycle? 
put that number on your 10 frame. Or you can slide them over in a pile. We know that tricycles have three wheels, so I'm going to add three. One, two, three. What if we double it? Doubling it means adding the same number again. So how many did we add up here? We added three. So to double it means we need to add three more. One, two, three. Add three more on your 10 frame. One, two, three. Good. We have three wheels up here, and then we doubled it, which means adding the same number. So we added three more. So we're going to write an equation. We have three wheels plus how many more did we add? Three more because we doubled. Plus three equals how many? How many do we have now? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three plus three equals six. Good. All right, let's review our goals for today. We said that we can represent addition with objects. We did that with our counters and our pennies or whatever you use. Um, with fingers, we used our fingers. Verbal explanations by talking about it and equations. That was when we wrote our 2 plus 2 equals 4. That's an equation. We solved addition problems. We solved addition story problems. That's where we had um, two bicycles plus one more bicycle. And we, made sen we make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. So we took a story problem and we figured out what they wanted us to do and what numbers were in it and we made sense of it, and then we persevered. So even if it was a little tricky for you, you still got through and you still did it. Good job, my friends. All right, I will see you guys later. Have a good day.